Alright, so I decided to stay up all night tonight for no particular reason, and I just got to play on the new Modern Warfare map in a private match with the new sniper rifle, just so I could get some first impressions out for you guys. I'm also going to be talking about the weapon balance changes that happen with this update. Everything else that's worth talking about will be talked about in later videos. Let me be upfront with you and say this is not an in-depth patch notes video. If you guys want patch notes, they're in the description, or you can look them up. They're on Charlie Intel. I don't read patch notes on this channel, but I do want to touch on some of the patch notes I saw. But first things first, first impressions of the new map and new weapon. I don't know where to start, but I guess we'll just go with the map. This is probably now the prettiest map in Modern Warfare. Aesthetically, I love everything about this map. I love the lighting, I love the time of day, I love the layout, I love all of it aesthetically. I don't know how it's going to play though, the, the middle area seems very messy, and there are some areas that have way too many little turns, twists, and corners. I don't exactly get the design, but I do like what I'm seeing here, it's unique and kinda special. The thing is, special doesn't mean good, I'll have to see how this plays online, but I found myself getting a little lost on it. I thought it was gonna be really small judging by the picture, Luckily I'm wrong, and it doesn't look like it's going to be so big it's campy, but there are lots of power positions you can hold, lots of head glitches, and I hope those don't hurt the map, but it is going to take a while to learn this map. It is a little bit messy, it's a little maze-like in a couple areas, so learning the map and getting some game sense on it is going to take a while, but luckily we have a 24-7 playlist that I'm going to stream later today, and we can just, you know, learn it together. You guys watching and me playing, or you playing alongside me playing, or you not watching the stream at all, you can go play by yourself. Anyway, I look forward to learning it because I hope it plays well. I hope I have good experiences on it because it's beautiful. It looks fantastic. The art team outdid themselves and I can see myself private matching on this map with my friends quite a bit. It's just that I don't know how it's going to play online. I can already see some things that people could abuse. But our new sniper rifle here is a ton of fun to use. Just shooting bots it is a very satisfying and interesting gun. I already found three setups that I really enjoy using. One setup just completely reduces the recoil while slowing down the bullet velocity. Unfortunately, the gun has virtually no kick and makes it a very competent semi-auto rifle. The next setup is easy, thermite rounds. Setup after that, grenade rounds. I'm calling them grenade rounds because it's late at, well, it's not late that night, it's early in the morning. And I don't know what they're actually called, but they're explosive rounds, they're boom boom bullets. And I really, think that they're going to be fun to use. I hope they're pretty damaging to streaks because there isn't a whole lot of reason to use them against people. The blast radius on this thing is pretty bad. You'd have to hit somebody pretty much point blank, enough to basically hit their body instead. Because you see me barrel stuffing a wall here and just dumping grenades right in my face, it takes three. So that's not exactly something worth writing home about, but this could be annoying in hardcore mode, I'll have to do testing there. If it is overpowered and frustrating in hardcore mode, then I'm gonna have to make a montage of me harassing people in hardcore mode with the weapon. But overall, this is a fun and welcome addition to Modern Warfare. The fact that you can build it for no recoil, you can build it for speed, build it for thermite or explosive rounds, that's all great. I really hope the thermite rounds are powerful against tanks because I just want to go into ground war, sit on a roof, and snipe tanks with thermite rounds. And I will say, even though the explosive rounds move very slowly and require a lot of lead on a moving target, the thermite rounds feel very, very fast. I thought they'd be as slow as the explosive rounds, but they're not. You are basically shooting thermite grenades as fast as a regular bullet. But because this weapon exists now, I have no reason to use the crossbow, and the crossbow certainly needs to be a secondary now. But now I want to talk about some of the weapon balance changes Infinity Ward did. Uh, I will go into other weapons later on, I'll talk more in depth about them, but I want to talk about a couple things that stood out to me. The Car 98K and MK2 Carbine got buffs. I cannot believe that they have buffs. I have such a bad experience in Modern Warfare going up against these marksman rifles, I've been told it's because of skill-based matchmaking or because I'm just bad, but it's consistent how many times a play session, how many times a game, I run into somebody who is proficient with the Car 98 MK2 to the point that it's annoying. It's very, very frustrating. Nobody needed more incentives to use these weapons, but the Car 98 has now increased ADS speed, a decrease to hip spread, and increased damage range, and the MK2 has faster movement speed and increased damage range. So, those aren't huge buffs, but they are buffs 
to weapons that are so commonly used and so proficiently used. This is giving me Black Ops 4 vibes of does Infinity Ward actually play their own game because these didn't need buffs? Just in the live stream I did yesterday, you guys watched me and my buddy go up against somebody with a Car 98K that just felt unstoppable. He was too fast. Even if I came around a corner, started aiming, and started firing my M91, I'd get one hit marker to his upper chest and then immediately die. I proved in a video that it takes two seconds from coming out of sprint to shoot somebody with the Car 98, whereas in two seconds, you can get one shot off with a weapon that potentially needs four shots to kill. It's imbalanced, it's frustrating. I don't think they should have anything taken away from them other than their sprint out time, but instead, no, now they just have all these other little buffs. Very frustrating to me. But luckily the Dragunov is also faster to aim down sight now. It has a two hit kill minimum, gun recoil returns to the center more, and faster rate of fire. So we have a more accurate, faster firing Dragunov, and I look forward to testing this out and seeing if these patch notes are correct. That really excites me. And the FAL, one of my all time favorite weapons in this game that I kind of shelved for a bit, has a new close range damage shelf with one hit headshot potential. One hit headshot potential. I imagine the range for this is going to be very, very close, but I look forward to this. The FAL was sort of being turned into the redheaded stepchild alongside the EBR, but it's cool that now we have all these other semi-automatic weapons, we have a new semi-automatic heavy sniper rifle, the Dragunov gets a buff, and the FAL can one-shot headshot. With its high rate of fire, the FAL is going to be a monster in close range. Imagine it has to be point blank, but I don't really care. I use laser sight and merc foregrip on it sometimes anyway. Now, when somebody gets in my face, I just need to point at their head and let loose on the trigger which makes the FAL very competitive in close range, so hopefully that works out. Now the AK-47 now aims down sight faster, and the CR-56 has less damage range, but the big ones that I think are the most important, the MP5 now has decreased damage range, and I'll show you in the patch notes here, I think Infinity Ward accidentally repeated themselves, because it says decreased 10mm damage range and then reduced long range damage to 10mm ammo. Isn't that the same thing? Tell me if I'm crazy, but I just feel like that's the exact same thing said two different ways. Reduce the long range damage and decrease the damage range. Anyway, they also increased the recoil on 10 millimeter ammo, which I think is fine, but the problem with the MP5 is that up close, it out TTKs the Fennec. It kills in three shots at 833 rounds per minute, and that hasn't changed. I like removing its versatility, but why is it so damn good up close? I still don't understand why it gets to three shot and other guns in the same category don't. It, it's weird to me. The Fennec comes into the game, fills a role, and is still somehow overshadowed in that role by the MP5. Like, what the fuck? But the Grau now has less damage range, it has an increase to high frequency recoil, I don't exactly know what that means, but I think that's good. And the two longest barrels, the Archangel and the Nexus barrels, have reduced recoil compensation and decreased range. Which is good, but I think I'm gonna find that I, I was right when I said if they nerf the Grau, then the Kilo would just take its place. Because a Grau with more recoil and less range yeah, now the Kilo's dominant again. The Kilo's already more accurate and fired a little bit faster, and now the Grau just lost one of its best benefits, which was its range and recoil control. So, um, oh well. They might have just completely fucked the Grau, which is weird, because they didn't know how to completely fuck the MP5. It's like, they're scared to touch the MP5, but yeah, just fucking stick their full fist in the Grau's ass. I don't know why. But also, shotgun slugs have faster velocity, reduced ADS spread, uh, dynamic hip spread, I don't know what the hell that means, increased damage ranges, and increased lower torso damage. Now I hope what dynamic hip spread means is that up close, the slug is completely accurate, it goes completely straight, but then at a distance, then it tapers off. That would be really cool. I'll have to do testing and play around with this because shotgun slugs are pretty much useless but this might have just given them the buff they need to be viable. Which is great, because I would love to stick a shotgun slug down a Car 98 user's face. In, in the game, of course, obviously. But overall, this update feels pretty good, and I look forward to streaming it and sharing my first impressions with you guys online while I'm live. That'll be really fun to share all my experiences and play the new game mode and try to unlock the new sniper and learn the new map. That'll be fun. So stay tuned for that live stream. But yeah, overall it's good, I just don't know why the MP5 can't get actually nerfed, and I don't know why the two most used marksman rifles just got buffs. 
that seems out of nowhere. And also, just like with every major patch in Modern Warfare, I can't wait for Exclusive Ace to find out all the hidden changes. How exciting. Anyway, I'll see you when I see you guys. Goodbye.